What is up guys, Silver Warrior here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about how you can stack more silver and less lies, and when I say that, basically what I mean is, it's kind of just a interesting way to say how to get the most silver for your money, but furthermore, besides talking about that, I'm not obviously, because that would just be, oh, you know, just buy generic bullion, constitutional and bulk, stuff like that, but I'm also just talking about something like the lies, you know, that basically are perpetrated to you, no matter how much money you have to spend on silver, basically like the fees and everything that you end up wasting money on. So first things first, biggest thing to do is to avoid fractional, that's obvious. And this is especially if you don't have that much money because a lot of people think of two things, either A, oh, fractional silver is good in economic collapse because I can trade in smaller amounts, or B, they just don't have enough money to get several ounces of silver. Maybe they only have like 20 bucks and I, well, I don't want to buy an ounce of silver when I can buy lots of little bars. But here's the thing. At the end of the day, it's if you're spending the amount of money that you could be spending to get an ounce of silver, a full ounce, you might be able to get 10 one gram silver bars because they're ridiculously overpriced. Even if you buy them in bulk, you still get pretty much nothing for your money. So that is definitely a, basically a lie that's being told to you that you should be paying more for fractional when no, you shouldn't. It's silver is silver. Unless you're talking about a rare piece of silver that only a few people can have, you have absolutely no reason to pay more for it. And it's a myth that you should be paying more for fractional silver because at the end of the day, like I said, it's, it's all common silver. No matter what, it's all generic bullion. I mean, don't ever let anyone tell you fractional is not generic bullion because trust me, it still is. You still make millions and millions of pieces of it. And still, you should only be paying, paying as much of a premium as you would for normal silver. And the whole thought process is that, well, it's harder to make this because it's smaller pieces. But here's the thing. Then don't buy it. Like, there's no point of buying it. Just because they want to charge you more for it doesn't mean you should buy it. And even if you don't have enough money for a full ounce, you can always get at least some silver mercury dimes. Even if you have to buy a smaller amount and pay a little bit of a premium, that's so much better than paying a massive premium for little silver bars that you can easily lose anyway and there's just i mean i literally can't think of a single good reason to buy fractional silver like in terms of like one gram bars like i know i have fractional silver right here but that's because i paid around melt for that because it's still 100 grams of silver right there it's still several ounces and it's a solid bar and i wouldn't have bought it at the premiums that they normally sell for i only bought it because it had pretty much no premium on it the guy sold it to me for nearly melt so that's why i was willing to buy it anyway Moving on, that's definitely a lie that you should be paying more for literally generic silver that's worth nothing. Um, also, don't be buying random like coins that are just graded. Even a lot of the times I see like a modern coins even that are graded MS70 and there's just absolutely no purpose of buying them because like what money is there in that? Like if you buy a 2017 Philadelphia Mint Penny it's MS70. I mean, that's not a silver coin. No, no modern U.S. silver coins, or no modern U.S. coins are silver, unless they're specialty coins. But if you buy a coin like that, that's an MS70. So what? Then you make so many of them in MS70 because now that's such a big thing to grade coins and sell them for massive premiums. That buying a modern coin like that isn't. You're never going to make any money off of it. If you're going to be buying MS70s, it should be ones that are rare. So it's definitely a lie that coins sh should be worth more just because they're graded. Which kind of, you know, just goes with anything really. That you should not be paying for a grade. You should be paying for the coin itself in most cases. Unless there's the coin actually has some rarity to it. Unless you can tell me that there's only a very small amount of that coin made. And year after year they go up in value. There's absolutely no purpose to buying because just because a coin's graded high doesn't mean it's ever going to make any money for you. And it really is a scam in my eyes where they can grade however many coins they want MS70, sell them to the people, and charge them so much more and people are willing to pay for it. I see that as a legal scam because there's absolutely no purpose. Literally, coins in, that are put into circulation are, look almost the same and yet you're just because there's a couple point difference, you're talking about many you know many many dollars you have to pay more and it's just not worth it to me modern coins to be buying like that because they have no real rarity to them it's not like old coins that have already been produced and can't be produced anymore and you know are rare with these they can produce however many they want 
every single year. There's no like cap on it. Cause back, you know, back in like you know, I'm talking about the time when they used to make silver coins. And, you know, it was like a little bit hundred years ago. They weren't making coins with the intention of grading them because PCGS didn't even exist back then. Okay, and nobody was making these U.S. coins and thought, oh, we'll just grade them. They're making it thinking we need to put these into circulation. And now there's some that were very undermade and are worth money. But today, coins that are just mass produced and any you know just have labels slapped on them are such a lie. When you could just be buying literally, I mean, you literally just buy a modern penny for a penny. You know, you could buy, you go to the bank and buy ten thousand modern pennies for a hundred dollars. And you could just, you know, take a bath of them if you want. I don't know, do whatever you want with them. But my point is that for the amount of money that you have to pay for these modern MS-70s, you could be buying the same coin thousands of times over because at the end of the day, it's a premium that shouldn't exist and it only does exist just to scam suckers. I mean, that's really, at the end of it, that's what it is. So if you're going to be buying MS-70s, definitely go to the rare ones. And MS-69 coins, for no matter what, Never buy those because those are literally the biggest scam ever. Because even specialty coins that are graded MS69 never go up in value whatsoever. Because they are not super rare for one. And for two, there's no reason why a modern coin should only be MS69 unless something happened to it. Okay, like it should be MS70. It should have been graded immediately. Otherwise, it shouldn't have been graded at all, in my opinion. There's no point in grading a coin that's already been messed with a little bit to not receive a perfect grade in my eyes so at the end of the day when you really get down to it you know you do you but definitely there's certain things out there that are just money traps in silver like if you're buying weight or just generic bullion then you should only be paying around melt same thing with constitutional silver you know, never let anybody tell you that oh well you know it's unsearched it's this or that no you're not buying it with the hopes of finding something because at the end of the day you're not going to find anything worth any money all you're going to find is a bunch of silver coins that you expected to find. You're not going to get anything rare in them. You know, don't listen to that. And that's really definitely something to avoid is those, all those distinctions everyone tries to put on random coin lots where, like, they'll plant enders and stuff like that that look really nice on rolls and, you know, do whatever to look, make them look aged. Don't fall for those traps because you're literally I – mean, that's kind of like the equivalent of gambling except you never win. No matter what, you're not going to get anything rare. In those coin lots that claim to be on search because 99% of the time they're not. Anyone can put any lot up they want and call it on search. If you don't find anything, they'll be like, well, how am I supposed to know? And they're always protected. And you're always getting scammed. You're playing the lottery with a 0% chance of winning it. So you might as well just spend that same amount of money, get some actual silver that's worth buying, and call it a day. Well, with that, I do hope you enjoyed this video. That is it for this one. Peace, love, and much respect.